Alright guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to program a repeater into your Yaesu 7250 and just how to use a repeater basically, how to program all the parameters. Alright, I got a bunch of different repeaters programmed in right or uh, written down just so I know what the frequencies are and what the offset is and kind of general location and everything. So, uh, we're going to turn the radio on. Alright, and this is the same spot that I made an 80 plus mile, no, I think it was like a 70 plus mile contact on a 70 centimeter band simplex, which was really cool. Okay, so we have our, our mic and a keypad here, which for the radio, I mean for the video, I'm going to put down here. We're going to click setup, which is this button right here. You're going to push and hold it. Okay, so now we're on 35, All right. I'm going to cheat sheet here. Menu 47, 45, 44, 37, 36, and 35. So those are the ones we need to really pay attention to in order to put a repeater in. So that's off, right? And we want the auto frequency shift off. We're going to do all this manually. All right. Now we're going to go into, this is our home channel, we're going to go into frequency mode, which is pretty much just this mode here. So this allows you to input the frequency, again this is our memory mode, this is our home, and this is our frequency mode. We're going to pick the repeater that we want to program, in this case I'd like to program, hmm, we're gonna program this guy. Let's program number 22 in. So 147240. So 147240. Now this is the repeater output frequency, otherwise your listening frequency. There's also a repeater input frequency. That's what the offset is and that's what you're transmitting on. Otherwise you'd you know, transmit and receive on the same frequency and that's not gonna work. All right, so we put the frequency in. Next thing, we're gonna go to the menu. So push and hold this button. We're gonna go to 47. Right there, tone frequency, right? We're at 67 hertz here. Now, with this repeater, it says here, 103.5 we're gonna go to 103.5 we're gonna hit that and just double check okay next thing I never wrote down if it's a positive or a negative offset so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look that up online I apologize about that I had to look it up on the internet and it is a positive offset a uh, two meter repeater can either have a positive or a negative offset. In this particular case, a positive offset. So we're going to go over here to repeater shift to 37 and we're going to change it to positive. So we're going to scroll down to 37, repeater shift. Right now we're on simplex, so we're going to put it to positive. Okay. Just to confirm. Alright, now we're going to go to. Squelch type, 44, we have to put it on tone. It's on off now, we're gonna put it on tone. Okay, now we're gonna go put in the 600 kilohertz frequency, and that would be 36. And that's our offset. So we could just go 0.6 megahertz, and that's, there we go, okay. We already turned this off, we set our frequency, we set our offset direction, we also set our tone, the tone frequency we set to, what was it, 103.5, 103.5 hertz, so we set that there. Now, we push and hold. And now we see that 147240 has a little plus above it. When we transmit, we should go positive 600 kilohertz, a 0.6 megahertz. So it should read 147840. Let's try to transmit onto this repeater. 
This is KM Sick listening and standing by. So we're just getting a Morse code back, meaning the repeater received my signal.